Hi, Grade 7! For today, our topic is translating verbal phrases or sentence to mathematical phrases or sentence and vice versa. The language of algebra and polynomials. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 2, Module Number 3. This is from LRMDS Bulacan. Thank you and congratulations to the development team of this module. Credit to the author, language reviewer, content editor, illustrator, and layout artist of this module. Hi, math lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know This module provides varied activities that will help you to learn about the concept of algebraic expression. At the end of this module, you are expected to translate English phrases to mathematical phrases, and English sentences to mathematical sentences, and vice versa, and illustrate and differentiate related terms in algebra. Where n is a positive integer, constant and variables, literal coefficients and numerical coefficients, algebraic expressions, terms, and polynomials, number of terms, degree of the terms, and degree of the polynomial. What I know Now turn your module to pages 3 and 4. Let's answer the pretests. Read each item carefully. Answer the following questions. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answer on your answer sheet. What's in? Baymax and I will show you five words. Now, think of a ways to change them into single. Now, here is the first word. Happiness That is the symbol Second word Love That is the symbol Third word Speed And that is the symbol Word Danger And that is the symbol And for our next word is Direction And here is the symbol Very good Now let's try this one Baymax and I will present to you different symbols All you have to do is to give its meaning Let's try the first one Correct, that is no smoking sign. Let's try symbol number two. Correct, that is no parking. Symbol number three. Correct, that is no U-turn. Symbol number four. That is no answer. And for our last symbol, we have correct. That is drop, cover, and pull. Correct. Let's look back again at the symbol. We have no smoking, no parking, no entry, no U-turn, and drop, cover, and pull. What's new? Let's try this one. Change a verbal phrase into mathematical phrase. The sum of a number and three. X plus three. Example number two. A certain number decreased by two. 
x minus 2. Let's proceed to example number 3. 1 added to 4 times a certain number. Correct, that is 4x plus 1. Example number 4. 4 times a certain number decreased by 1. That is 4x minus 1. Example number 5. A certain number decreased by 3. x minus 3. Example number 6. Twice a number decreased by 3. 2x minus 3. Example number 7, 3 more than a number. x plus 3. Example number 8, a number added to 4. 4 plus x. Example number 9, the difference of 2 and a number. 2 minus x. And for number 10, 1 subtracted from 4 times a number. 4x minus 1. Now it's your turn. Let's try the following examples. Choose from the given choices. Here are the given choices. The sum of 4 times a number and 3. What is our answer? Correct, that is 4x plus 3. Now, here are the choices. The sum of a number and 4. What is our answer? Yes, we have x plus 4. Choices for number 3. 2 times a number diminished by 3. Now, what is your answer? That is 2x minus 3. Another set of choices. 4 times a number diminished by 1. Look carefully at the choices. That is 4x minus 1. Next, we have the following choices. The difference of 3 and a number. That is 3 minus x. Here are the choices. A number subtracted from 3. Look carefully at the choices. Yes, the answer is 3 minus x. The same number of given. The sum of 4 and a number. Choose carefully. We have 4 plus x. Now let's try this one. 3 times a number added by 4. What will be our answer? That is 3x plus 4. Let's try another one. 4 times a number added to 3. Changing this to mathematical phrase, we have 3 plus 4x. Another one, a number deducted from 3. What is our answer? We have 3 minus x. Let's have the simple definition before we start. Algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with the study of mathematical symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols. An algebraic expression in mathematics is an expression which is made up of variables and constant along with algebraic operations. What is it? Lesson number one. Translating verbal phrases or sentences to mathematical phrases or sentences, and vice versa. 
algebra is sometimes defined as the science of signs and symbols. Hence, solutions of most mathematics problems depends upon the language of algebra by using the various signs, symbols, and notations in algebra. One of the important aspects in solving problems in algebra is a working knowledge in the ability to translate the statement in algebraic symbols. Thus, one has to develop this ability in order to represent word problems into mathematical statements using the algebraic symbol. A knowledge of constant and variable alongside with symbols of relations and operation will facilitate translation of verbal phrase into mathematical phrase and vice versa. Let's give the meaning of the following mathematical symbol. Let's have the first symbol. We have increased by, added to, the sum of, and more than. Next symbol, we have decreased by, subtracted from, the difference of, less than, and diminished by. Next symbol, multiplied by, the product of, and of, next symbol, the quotient of, the ratio of. Now we have these two symbols, we have, is less than, is greater than. equal to is not equal to translate the verbal phrases into algebraic expressions now let's have example number one the sum of x and y this is our answer x plus y we have this operation because of the word sum example number two six more than a this is our answer, A plus 6. We use this operation because of the phrase more than. If we use the word more than, the second term will become the first term. Example number 3, twice m or 2m. Constant and variable that are together represents multiplication. And that is because of the word twice Example number 4. The difference of B and 10. We have B minus 10. We use this operation because we use the word difference. Example number 5. 9 less than Z. The answer is Z minus 9. We use this operation because of the phrase less than. If we use the phrase less than, we will change the position of the first term and the second term. Now let's translate these phrases into their algebraic equivalents. Let's have example number one. The difference of twice a number and three. We have 2x minus three. We use this operation because of the word difference. We also use this term because of the word twice. Example number two. Tries the sum of a number and 10. We have the answer of three quantity x plus 10. We multiply the term three times because of the word thrice. And we use the symbol because of the phrase the sum of. Example number three. 6 less than 8 times a number. We have 8x minus 6. This term represents the phrase 8 times, while this operation represents the phrase less than. Speaking mathematically, we read this term as 5x plus y, or the sum of 5x and y. Let's try another term. 
we read this one as 5 times the quantity x plus y or 5 times the sum of x and y. In translating a verbal statement to an algebraic expression, a single word can make a difference. Thus, it is important to interpret every word in the statement correctly. Now, let's translate this mathematical sentence into the verbal sentence. Let's have example number 1. x plus 5 is equal to 4. This will become the sum of a number and 5 is 4. We use this phrase because of this operation. And the word is represent the symbol equal. Now we have example number 2. 7 plus x is equal to 2x plus 3. This will become 7 added by a number x is equal to twice the same number increased by 3. We use this phrase and we use this phrase because of the symbol. This word represents this operation. And lastly, this phrase represents this operation. Example number 3. 2x minus 1 is equal to 1. In verbal sentence, this will become twice a number decreased by 1 is equal to 1. We use this word because of this operation. And we use this phrase because of this operation. And lastly, we use this phrase because of this symbol. Example number 4. 3x equals 15. Trice a number x yields 15. We use this word because of this operation. And this word represents the symbol. Lastly, example number 5. x minus 2 is equal to 3. We have 2 less than a number x results to 3. Now we use this mathematical phrase. We use the phrase less than, so we change the position of the first term and the second term. And we use this phrase because of this given symbol. Lesson number 2. Constants, variables, and algebraic expressions. Now let's try to define the following terms. First is constant term. A term in an algebraic expression that has a value that is constant or cannot change because it does not contain any modified variables. Next is variable. Is a symbol or letters that may take one or more than one value. Variables may represent elements of the set of real numbers. Next is term. It is a constant, a variable, or a product, or a quotient of constant and variables. Terms are separated by the symbol positive and negative. Next, we have numerical coefficient. The term's number part or a constant multiplier of the variables in a term. Next is literal coefficient. Expressing letters or in letters and figures, the variable includes the exponent. Then lastly, we have Algebraic expression is any combination of one or more constant and variables along with at least one mathematical operation. Now let's try this given example. We have the column for algebraic expression, for a constant, and for a variable. First, we have 12x plus 5. Our constant term are 12 and 5. And for our variable is x. Our next example is 1 of y minus 3. Our constant terms are 1 half and 3. 
For our variable, we have y. Lesson number 3. Polynomials. Polynomial. Polynomial is a kind of algebraic expression where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of a constant and a variable in which the variable has a whole number or a non-negative number exponent. Now, how can we say if the algebraic expression is not a polynomial? An algebraic expression is not a polynomial if the exponent of the variable is not a whole number. The variable is inside the radical sign. And the variable is in the denominator. Tell whether the given is polynomial or not. 3x squared. Yes, that is polynomial. Example number 2. x raised to 1 half minus 3x plus 4. No, it's not a polynomial because the exponent is a fraction. Example number 3. x squared minus 5xy. Yes, polynomial. Example number 4. 2x raised to negative 2 minus x plus 3. No, it's not a polynomial because the exponent is negative. Now we have example number 5. 3x squared plus square root of 2x minus 7. No, it is not a polynomial because variable is inside the radical sign. And for our last example, we have 2 over 3x plus 4x cubed minus 1. No, it is not a polynomial because variable is in the denominator. We have different kinds of polynomials according to the number of terms. The first one is monomial, a polynomial with one term. Next is binomial, a polynomial with two terms. Next is trinomial, a polynomial with three terms. And lastly, we have Multinomials or polynomial consist of three or more terms. We also have kinds of polynomials according to degree. The first one is constant, a polynomial of degree zero. The second one is linear, a polynomial of degree one. Next is quadratic. A polynomial of degree 2. Next one is cubic. A polynomial of degree 3. Next is quartic. A polynomial of degree 4. And lastly, we have quintic. A polynomial of degree 5. Standard form. The polynomial is arranged from the term with the highest degree up to the term with the lowest degree. Next is the leading term. The first term in a polynomial written in standard form. We have the leading coefficient, the numerical coefficient of the leading term. Next is degree of the polynomial, the exponent or the sum of the exponents of the variable in the leading term. Now let's try this given example. First, we have 2x squared minus 5x to the 5th power minus 6x cubed plus 4x minus 8. Then we have x cubed y squared plus 4x. Let's try to identify the following. 
standard form, kinds of polynomials according to the number of terms, kinds of polynomial according to degree, leading term, leading coefficient, and degree of polynomials. Now here is our answer. Look at our table. First is our first example. The standard form is 5x to the 5th power minus 6x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. Kinds according to number of terms. This is multinomial. Consists of 5 terms. Kinds according to degree. This is quintic because our highest exponent is 5. Leading term. We have 5x to the 5th power because that is the first term. Leading coefficient is 5. And degree of polynomials is 5. Because that is the highest degree of the term. Let's proceed to number 2. The standard form is x squared, y squared, plus 4x. Kinds according to number of terms. This is a binomial because consists of two terms. Kinds according to degree. This is quartic because our exponent is 4. Our leading term is x squared, y squared. Our leading coefficient is 1. The degree of the polynomial is 4. Are you ready to answer your module? Good luck! What's more? Independent activity number 1. Turn your module to page 12. Translate the following phrases to discover puzzle pieces secret. Independent assessment number 1. Turn your module to page 13. Match each mathematical phrase under column A to its verbal phrase under column B. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Independent activity number 2. Turn your module to pages 13 and 14. Read the clues below to fill in the correct answer, word across, and word down. Independent assessment number 2. Turn your module to page 14. Identify the constant or constants and variable or variables in each algebraic expression. Independent activity number 3. Turn your module to page 14. Analyze the given in column A. Then match with its answer in column B. Write your answer on the answer sheet. Independent assessment number 3. Turn your module to page 14. Complete the following table. Write your answer on your answer sheet. What I have learned What I have learned Turn your module to page 13. Fill in the blanks with the correct word or words to complete its thought. What I can do Turn your module to page 15. Write a mathematical expression or sentence that satisfies the given statement. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Assessment Turn your module to pages 16 and 17. Let's answer our post-tests. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it in your answer sheet. Additional activity Turn your module to page 18. For letter A, match its verbal phrase in column A to its mathematical phrase in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer. Each number corresponds to a letter which will reveal a word which means glow. A letter may be used more than once. And for letter B, complete the table. References Answer your module. Thanks for watching. Bye.